It's a very interesting area because I suppose you could broadly um, look at it from the perspective of well, what are the kind of cognitive benefits, um, you know, in terms of your ability to think and, and, and process information, tasks, so on, uh, and also the kind of psychological benefits in terms of um, things like anxiety, depression, its ability to treat those as well. Um, and there are there is evidence that resistance training can affect those things positively in both cases. Um, so there's research showing that cognitive improvement um, in the elderly can improve as a result of taking part in resistance training. In fact, there's some uh, evidence to suggest it might even be better um, than traditional kind of endurance and aerobic training because um, it involves more the learning of kind of new movements, complex tasks, uh, whereas by the time everyone's got to, you know, their 60s, 70s, 80s, everyone knows how to walk, everyone knows how, they've done it for years, they don't have to learn something new when they're taking part in um, resistance training um, and doing it over a period of time also helps to stave off those uh, those age-related cognitive declines um, but there's also evidence showing that things like uh, you know depression anxiety self-esteem are improved as a result of taking part in resistance training um, and I suspect a lot of it is down to the fact that stronger people typically feel more confident they have greater self-esteem less likely to feel depressed anxious etc um, in fact there was a, a an interesting um, study looking at adolescents and found that um, there was a relationship between um, strength and um, uh, uh, suicide rates in young adolescents. Stronger individuals were less likely to commit suicide and I think there's a link there between you know the stronger you are the more kind of confident and uh, uh, you feel in yourself and your ability to perform tasks and so on and that has an impact on your psychology as well.